Hello, static students. I just want to go over some things regarding the syllabus. So ECE 211 course number, it is not, this is not the section number. This is the correct section number for this semester. It is online asynchronous. It is fall of 2020. I believe this is incorrect. I will have to go look that up. This is correct. Engineering mechanics, statics. It's not last year. Everything else should be correct. Okay. Uh, call me Jim. Damn it, Jim. I'm a student, not a graduate. Um, Canvas email. Use it for correspondence with me on all everything related to the class because I answer it first. It's also more informative. It tells me what class you're in, what section you're in, everything like that. Uh, office. With COVID, everybody, nobody's at the office, but he, there it is anyway. But I do hold office hours, 48 weekdays except holidays. Veterans Day is on a Wednesday, for example, so I won't do it then. And the day an assignment is due, I hold them, which is usually Sunday. Um, Labor Day, the assignment is due on Monday. It's a holiday, so it's due on Monday. Let's go to Cranium Cafe. That's how we're going to do it. Do office hours. You get to see me and talk to me, but um, we're not going to be face to face. We'll be like this. Most of the time when I log on, it saves bandwidth on my slow internet connection out here in Apache Junction. That's where I live. To, to not share the video and to only share the audio. So that'll be coming up. Um, we can upload documents there. I'm just going to share my microphone. Uh, so you can upload documents. I can share my screen. I, you can share your screen. And of course, I can see your pretty face. The share. Let's go here. There is a whiteboard, so we can both use the same whiteboard at the same time and of course you can chat you can just talk using audio share documents anyway it's a good way to handle things um, this is an incorrect site link for me let me get the correct one there I got the correct website now on the syllabus uh, if I click this, it ought to go. I've already pulled it up, though, so let's go see it. This is what it looks like. Okay. Always use Canvas for course-related questions. Uh, teaching philosophy. Learning and motivation are your responsibility, not mine. I can't motivate you, but I can find your motivation. I can help you find it. When we keep in mind why we're doing something, it makes us go through the hard stuff it takes to reach our goals. If we lose sight of the why, we get demoralized and stop and things like that, which we don't want you to do. We want you to succeed. That's why finding your why is one of the first assignments. The learning and what it leads to is what's of value, including after graduation. Participation or completion of activity might not be enough. Activity is not accomplishment. Doesn't mean you've accomplished something. It's, just completing an assignment doesn't mean you'll learn or have a good grade. you got to practice. Apply yourself. Put in effort. Devote time to it. Um, performance and accomplishment and grades are outcomes of your learning what you've done. You need to develop that habit of mind to learn. I want you to succeed and will provide clear instructions. I'm like a coach, though. I can't do it for the athlete. I can train the athlete. Details. Online asynchronous. No scheduled meeting times. 
but we do have office hours and I already mentioned that my uh, virtual office hours at Cranium Cafe and you've already seen that okay uh, this is not a two credit course oh okay things to fix in the syllabus um, semester schedule so the um, chapter one and chapter two will be due at the uh, on nine seven by the way that's a little more than a week from the end of the second week required course materials statics Hibbler required older editions are okay let's go over to there it is that's what the cover looks like Um, homework 25, labs 25, quizzes and exams 50. 90, 80, 70, 60. Uh, did I already mention homework? You'll lose 5% a day um, down to 70%. So the maximum you can get from homework is 70% if you turn it in really late. Attendance in an online class, it's submitting assignments on time. Withdrawal policy, you may withdraw yourself up to the seventh week. After that, I'll look at your course progress. If it's failing, you'll get a Y grade. If it's passing, you'll get a W grade. Learning Enhancement Center Tutoring, here's a link. Click it. Writing Center, here's a link to that. Disability Services. Uh, you can contact them phone or email and I support disability services and if you come in with a disability and need accommodations I'll be receptive and supportive early alert this is if you're really struggling you can get help disability resource services and title nine that has to do with women in college and we have lots of policies including policies regarding sexual assault harassment and so on student responsibilities there's a whole student handbook there's the link for it this is a 70 day class so you can get a full refund within seven days okay um learning management system we'll use canvas but also there's canvas help you can go there set up your student email um, these this is the testing homework and it's mostly it's going to be due Sunday at midnight online Raw opportunities for extra credit are rare makeup work uh, I already mentioned losing 5% a day but um, I give excused absences in case of hardship but you got to prove it you got to bring documentation doctor's note something of that nature this policy on cell phones is kind of irrelevant because it's all online academic integrity regarding misconduct and dishonesty dishonesty is anything that gives you an unfair advantage and includes plagiarism representing others work as your own fabrication fudging lab data cheating copying test answers uh, impersonation taking an exam for somebody else collusion getting test questions in advance these are examples complicity helping others cheat using an unauthorized resource like a cell phone bribery paying an instructor for a better grade deception forging a doctor's note to get an excused absence sabotage breaking another person's lab equipment it only hurts you I grade on point so if you hurt somebody else it doesn't help you and again the student handbook has policies on this professional ethics are very important in engineering when the hotel Hyatt hotel collapsed because 
the engineer screwed up. Uh, they the firm lost its license, and a bunch of the engineers lost their licenses. And you'll never work in the field again. We hold health and safety of the public paramount. Behave responsibly, responsibly and cooperatively. Be a good team player with your people. Be nice to each other. Don't uh, tear each other down with your words. Words matter. In engineering too, we, we need to team up later on. Teams are very important. So those skills are important to get along when you get into the workforce. For every two hours inside a class, Oh, excuse me, hour inside a class, spend two hours outside. So I think this is a three credit course. You should be spending six hours. You might spend more on this course. The material is kind of hard. Keep up with the course. You don't fail at the last week. You fail because you didn't do everything during the semester. International students, there is an international student office. And they give their campus location, but not a website. You just have to go look it up on the MESA website. There is a student course survey. We have institutional outcomes of critical thinking, communication, civic engagement, and cultural and global engagement. That's when you graduate. These are things you ought to be um, have competency in. 3.25 GPA, honors. If you got that, try it. Here's the link. Course overview. Mathematical treatment of physical principles of statics, vector algebra, vector calculus, and then all the rest of the competencies. So that's it for the syllabus review. Following this is how to present your problems. The solve method. Next video. When you do your homework, you got to show your work. Just putting in answers is not enough. You got to show your work. Okay, with that, I'm going to end this video. Watch the solve video and have a good semester.